What is up, my Mardi Gras crew? I'm back with another banger for you. Yes, I am, y'all. And today I'm eating McDonald's. Y'all, I got nuggets, fries, and a double, a McDouble. Yeah. And I'm drinking water. All right, let's say grace. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. May be nourished my body. And Lord, bless those that are watching. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, y'all. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with everybody so we can get this channel up there okay hit that notification bell so you know when my videos are posting okay let's eat <laughs> all right so i got the um i got the 20 piece bundle mcdonald's has this thing going on right now where they have a they have a 20 piece bundle and they have the buy one get one right now So yeah. I wanted to get them. I wanted to get the 20 piece bundle and the buy one get one, but I'm actually cooking. Cooking right now, a dish that's gonna take a while, so that's why I'm eating this now. But I'm recording with the dish I'm cooking, which is chitterlings. Um, so, yeah, I'm recording with that. Put the box down and eat. I'm making all that noise. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Uh, oh. Hmm. I think I would, I don't know. I'm cooking chitlins right now. And yeah, I don't know what I was talking about. Water is so refreshing when you haven't had any in a minute. <laughs> Excuse the noise. <clears throat> I think I told y'all in another in another video that they are um, building a house next to mine, and so they're working today. So you probably can hear it. Mm -hmm. I don't see if I more honey mustard. Mm. McDonald's didn't have um, no barbecue sauce. I'm like, what? But barbecue sauce is probably their thing. Like, everybody probably gets barbecue sauce. I've seen a couple of people do the um, McDonald's copycat, like the nugget recipe. <clears throat> I'm going to have to try it one day. Let me tell you. 
Let me try that recipe and those niggas be good. Are even close to what these taste like. I will no longer be buying McDonald's nuggets. <laughs> you okay? <coughs> you all right? <laughs> Drinking her Coke. It went down the wrong pipe, if you guys can hear her. That's Maddie. Last week, I went <clears throat> into another teacher's class. I think it was during recess. And the students were watching my videos. <laughs> they were watching my videos on their smart board. And they had so many, like, so many opinions or things they want, like, uh, oh, you're talking too much. <laughs> I'm like, this is not an ASMR. <laughs> so that means I need to really work on getting uh, ASMRs out. <laughs> Because there are people out there that don't want me talking. They just want to see me eat. So. Whenever I have to film, more than once in a day, more than likely one of those videos is going to be McDonald's. Because like I said, it does not sit on my stomach like most foods. Do you guys watch Housewives of Atlanta? And do you guys see the mess that's going around with Portia dating her so-called friend because she said it wasn't her friend. Excuse me. Ex-husband. Like, she's not even dating him. They're engaged. I think the girl's name is Fallon or something. Anyway. <clears throat> Portia's getting all kind of backlash about it. And how she's wrong. And um, Tammy from Basketball Wives. Was she on the Housewives? No. But Tammy from Basketball Wives was explaining that sometimes on these shows, you're not really friends with the people, the new people that come on. They just tie you along with them to kind of bring somebody new on the show. Hold on, guys. Let me check my food real quick. All right. Okay. But uh, I think I was saying... Tammy from Basketball Wives said, sometimes on these shows, you know, they'll bring people on and tie them to someone who's on the show for a smooth transition onto the show. And um, that, that's possibly what, ha what happened with Portia and the young lady. 
But I went back and saw the episode with um, the girl on there introducing her husband to Portia and friends. <laughs> and from the outside looking in, it does look fishy. <clears throat> so, and I think they've only been dating for a couple of months, if I'm not mistaken. But, I think the guy, y'all hear all these things because I'm not 100% sure, so check it out for yourself. I think the guy is African, and I think the guy is African. And if you are a Housewives of Atlanta fan, then you know, you know it's been times where Portia has been called out for pop, for dating an African guy who had bought her, I think what, it was a Bentley or something. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. But to each his own. <clears throat> and it seems like the divorce was final in the midst of him dating Portia. So it's like, was she messing with him? And she's the reason for the divorce. But she said no. She said she's not. But I don't know if I would even mess with a guy. I don't know if I would even mess with a guy who... I don't know if I would even mess with a guy who's married, you know? whether they're separated or not because so often you hear so often you hear about um a girl messing with a guy and her her response to them messing around was oh he said that you guys were not together anymore or, oh, in guy's situation, oh, she said you guys weren't together anymore. So I think I'd be like, hit me when your divorce is final, and then we'll see where this goes, you know? If it's meant to be, it'll be. Excuse me. Um. If you're finished, you can leave it and go. Mm. Y'all, McDonald's is ghetto. <laughs> Y'all, this McDonald's. Y'all see what I'm talking about? These people that gave me two top buns. Ghetto. Guess so. But guess what? I'm going to eat. Two top buns, y'all. I'm like, Lord. I forgot to say no mustard. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of mustard on my burgers, like when they come from like a fast food joint. But if it's like a bur like a homemade burger, I'll, I'll do mustard. It just hits different to me. But anyway. Back to our combo. If you really like me and you're going through a divorce, then you'll still be interested in me when your divorce is final. Because <clears throat> a lot of times... People, you know, reconcile during during their divorce sometimes, and then call a divorce off. So, give that person time to get their stuff together. 
Like, I know where I live. When you get a divorce, if you have kids, you have to wait a year to finalize your divorce in hopes that you can work it out and stay together. Or your, I guess, for the kids, but that's not always good to stay for the kids, but that's a whole nother topic. We talking about poor show. But I saw pictures on Portia's Instagram because I follow her on Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Because right now, I have a lot of foodie, foodie pictures and stuff. But the school year almost over, so I'm going to be traveling. So you go get some full body pics, some cute videos, and all that other stuff. So go ahead and subscribe. Uh, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram so when all that stuff starts hitting my page, you there for it, okay? So hit that heart. <laughs> but anyway, back to Portia. Um, I'll follow her on Instagram, and I saw for Mother's Day, it looks like <clears throat> her, her and Dennis... Excuse me. And the guy have a good relationship. They were all in pictures together and stuff. And when I saw it, I was like, wait, Portia has her ring on, but she's real cozy with this other guy. Because I thought that was the ring when she was engaged to Dennis. But it wasn't. <laughs> Um, it wasn't, and that's when I started doing my research, and I saw that she was doing, well, well that don't sound right, she was doing somebody else, no, <laughs> that she was engaged to someone else, so yeah, so even though, I don't agree with a person talking to someone while they are going through a divorce. If it's working for her and her little union, and good luck, girlfriend. <clears throat> good luck. I don't know. I, when I went to McDonald's, they were super packed. So I don't know if that's the amount of fries you always get, but it was a good bit of fries, but it was just like a large fry. So I'm wondering if because it was so busy, they didn't give me as many as they usually would give. I don't know. Delicious. Mm. I can't wait to. We're out of school. So I can get back to hustling. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> because when I first started this thing, 
I was hustling now because I ain't had to go to work because we were teaching from home. But now that I'm back at work, mm, excuse me, but summer's almost here. Last bite. Mm. Mm. That was good. I can't wait till they finish. <clears throat> it's gonna be a headache with the whole building stuff because they have not started building any houses um, across from me. So they're building this one next to me. And a, a girl I know just told me she bought a lot in front of me. So they're going to be building there. And it's just so, the, like, sometimes they start working so early. It's distracting. If you're trying to sleep and some, they're talking and, ugh. So I can't wait till that's all done. In my little area, you know? Mm. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think of everything we talked about in the comments. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Please don't leave me and go find other people to rock with us, okay? <laughs> Share. All right, y'all. I love you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Peace.